Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Um, I'm just going to show you how to prove to somebody that it doesn't just take a couple of clicks in Photoshop. Um, I'm going to show you a way how you can prove it to them. Okay, so I've got this image open. I'm just going to make a few adjustments just to get the log um, loaded with a bit of information. So I'm just going to crop it a bit there. I'm just going to use the eyedropper tool just around, just a few clicks around. And let's just create curves adjustment and just bring that down. And let's choose the brush tool, um, increase the size of the brush. Okay, I've got the wrong brush selected, but that's okay. Just brush it over there just to make it look like a bit of a splash. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do on this one. Um, I'm going to save it, Control S, and I'm just going to save it to my desktop. Okay, so that's all been saved over here in my Photoshop log. You can just see it over there. So I opened the image at 1914. Um, I cropped it. You can see how many pixels I've cropped it to. I've, what else have I done? I've, um, added the curves layer and I've adjusted that and yep I've used the brush tool it shows everything out where I've saved it so at 1915 I opened that 1914 over here okay so for more complex um, edits you'll see loads I mean you can get pages and pages full of detail um, explaining exactly what you you do Okay, so first you want to go up here to edit and go down to preferences and history log or you can press Control K uh, it will bring up the general tab and then go to history log just over here and you want to choose a, a destination um, I'm just going to make this one water droplet and hit enter I normally choose a text file because uh, I can print it off easily um, and it's quite detailed. That's why I've got the detail selected over here under log items and press OK. So I'm going to open and I'm going to open the water droplet. And as well, um, it's not only to prove points, it's also to help um, if, if someone doesn't believe you um, that's paying for the job, you can prove to them how long you've spent on it, what you've done on it. And as well, if you do something and you forgot how you've done something, you can go back and check the log um, and say, oh yeah, that's what I did, um, just as a reminder for yourself. Okay, so I've got this one open again. Let's use a brush tool, just a few splats here and there. And the curves, let's do a curves layer. That. I'm just going to create a clipping mask. I don't know why I've done that. I've just done that. And let's, what else should we do? Should we crop this one as well? Okay, so I've cropped that one. There we go. Hit the enter, enter key. And I'm going to save this. And let's name it auto drop as well. And save. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay, so we've created one called the water droplet just over here and this is what it looks like so we opened the, the image at 1917 that's the file name we used the brush tool we added the layer adjustments and we created the clipping mask and we cropped it and we've saved it so it's very helpful information to know um, it proves a lot of things and you can go back and look at um, jobs that you've done previously and forgot how you did a certain thing just go back and check okay well that's that tutorial i hope you found it helpful if you did please hit the like button i have many more tutorials to come so please hit the subscribe and hopefully i'll see you soon thank you